If you're not careful, you might become addicted to chaos and allergic to peace. A lot of times our pain and our struggle is self-inflicted because some of us have been living in struggle or chaos for so long that whenever we arrive to a place of peace, it's uncomfortable. So we sabotage our peace and create more chaos. If this is your pattern, you'll notice you probably do this with your finances, your relationships, your health, your spiritual life, and so on. If you're used to chaos in your relationships, when you find somebody who brings you peace, you think something is wrong and you search for more chaos. If you get more money than you're used to, you think something's wrong and in the back of your mind, you don't deserve the extra money and so you get rid of the extra money to take you back to the place of struggle. I'm telling you, it's a habit, it's a pattern, it's an addiction. But the beginning of change is awareness and that's what this video is for. So you can't conquer what you don't first confront and you can't confront what you don't first identify. So first you need to go back and look at what has happened in your past that has sabotaged your belief systems and your self image about how you feel about yourself and what you deserve. I challenge you to take one hour for yourself in a piece of paper and map these things out. Map out these patterns, map out these recurring cycles, map out these struggles or these moments of chaos. Because what happens is when you're addicted to chaos, you'll keep yourself so busy that you never give yourself attention and personal time to figure these things out because it's called avoidance behavior. You keep yourself so busy to avoid confronting the things that you need to confront. I hope this helps. It's your turn.